Hello and welcome to Pure Experiences Online Satsang. This satsang is a meeting, an opportunity for everyone to ask their questions, clear their doubts, and discuss the spiritual matters. And this is also a part of the program, the Path of Knowledge program. Vipin is saying, why personified as Devi when all concept is covered with vibration, potential, and why feminine? You see, we are in India. <laughs> we personify even the trains. Do you know that? Even the trains are given feminine names. We personify the cyclones and all. So why? is this? That is human nature. Anthropomorphization is human nature. It is fun. But it is fun as long as you know what you, are, what you have personified. You see. You can make a Devi out of electricity also, you see. Draw a feminine figure with thunderbolt in one hand, voltmeter in other hand, and... Uh, in the MCB in the fourth hand, whatever you see, generator standing on a generator, and it is fun, lot of fun. You can start worshiping. I am pretty sure that some people are already worshiping electricity. <laughs> this is our country, you see. The more exotic it is, more kind of these idiots are drawn to that figure, and the guru gets a chance to trap them. The guru del- delivers. His teaching, when enough idiots are accumulated in one place. So we do it for that reason also. Then we spin up some stories around them. because That is fun, really. Very good stories. And in the stories is the teaching. Woven in the story, in the fabric of the story is the teaching. Hopefully you got your answer. Why feminine? Yes, because only females can create, you see. Only females can give birth. Motherly. Motherly love is the reason. So if you don't like all these things, you can simply call it vibrations and live your life happily. No need. But if you are in India, be ready. They will they will do whatever it takes. I, I used to oppose this a lot. Then I found out that uh, there is always a reason. There is a reason behind all the superstitions also. It is all lost actually, but it, it is there. You will find it if you pay attention. So, nowadays I am very lenient and I, I don't trouble them a lot. Earlier I used to insult them, make a joke out of them. But now I realize, you see, everything happens for a reason. And if there is a pers- personification, if there is worshipping, if people have become religious and cultish, let them be. It's not our concern really. On the path of knowledge, we are not really concerned with what others are doing. But we want to know and you will know. You will know why it is like this. Why a man is walking in sari and all the makeup. He (laughs) he has accepted the Devi. Now he is trying to become the Devi. And it is all funny but no problem at all. I have seen it all. Drishti is asking if woman is homosexual then it doesn't matter really. Your orientation does not matter. Devi fixes everything. Why a man is supposed to take Devi as wife? Because it is the fastest way. That is the fastest in my experience. But uh, you are free to uh, worship the Devi as mother. We call her Ma, you know, Durga, Mata. They are all mothers. But uh, somebody on the occult is not satisfied with this devotional attitude. They want uh, faster progress. They want everything very fast. And uh, the most intimate relation with the baby, you know what it is, that will work really, really fast. Baby is purely sexual energy and uh, we utilize that. You cannot utilize that if you treat baby as your mother. You won't be able to do that. So that is all I can tell you in the public. You are in, if you are more interested, contact me. Parthip is saying, cause of action is desire. Once complex web, web of desires are gone, it is seen suddenly when desire will become important. Then it will be seen as futile and after some time another, another desire will appear. How long this game is going to operate if it seems fruitless exercise? It is forever. That is the bad news. That this is going to continue forever. And if you think it is fruitless, ignorance. Everything is fruitless already. Everything in the illusion, is meaningless, purposeless. It is a play. It is a leela. If you have not accepted this thing as a play, 
then uh, there will be complaints there will be dissatisfaction i don't want any desires who is saying it the ignorant ego is not going to happen accept whatever is happening let it be the way it is it is perfect and now nothing is important you see either there is too much atta- attachment or there is too much aversion that is the problem right aversion means fruitless meaningless attachment means i really want this i need everything to be according to me attachment and these both things are going to cause troubles acceptance surrender witnessing awareness this is the middle way so become like this change your attitude hiruchi guys saying i'll be troubling you for very long time <laughs> you're welcome you're welcome see there is almost infinite amount to give if you come with a spoon i'll give you a spoonful you come with a bucket i'll give you a bucket you come with a truck i'll fill your truck there's a lot <laughs> Granjit is saying, I am not able to grasp Guru Field and Devi and it has been lingering in my mind. They are fascinating but I am holding back from asking as I am in the path of knowledge and yet to reach the point to understand them. You, you are very nice, very nice. Don't worry, don't worry about Guru Field and Devi and all you see. These people who are asking, they have already crossed the step 2 or they are almost finished the step 2. As soon as you finish the step 2 which is the basic knowledge you see 36 episodes then uh, you are free to explore more then these details are kind of will become obvious they will become uh, relevant for you right now experience experiencer experiencing existence vibrations memories structures activities states illusion true false knowledge ignorance qualities basics devote your time to the teachings no guru field no devi that is the best attitude for people who are starting yes you come in the satsang and you listen to all these things that is okay because that is seeding you that there is so much to know that gives you a seed for the future it will help in you in your practices and experiments it will help you to get established in a spiritual lifestyle yes there are all concepts you see there are all concepts what is there there is you and there is a series of dreams if you are happy with that stay with that nothing wrong if you want to dive you are most welcome too many jokes are flying today ajit is saying vishwakarma look at our you know tradition here in the factories there is a god of machines vishwakarma ajit has told you see i remember this vishwakarma is worshiped as the god of machines is it like this in any other country no vishwakarma is supposed to be the one who created the mechanisms of the physical world it's amazing <laughs> it's an amazing place everything is a god here and everything is a goddess here so don't worry get used to all these things you see drishti is asking if someone dislikes any kind of relationship with mother sister can she take devi as her own form Uh, you don't need to do that the form is of the devi always all these forms are of the devi only so it depends on the method that you use to approach this practice uh, you cannot worship the devi without a form that is the trouble here because she is not formless so we need to give her a form now totally depends on your liking what you want so always consult your guru guru knows Guru knows what is best for you. Surshri is asking, why is it said that the gani can fall but a bhakt will never? No, it is never said like this. Anybody can fall. Most of them are already fallen. And then why are they seeking? So these sayings and all, you, should, you see, just throw them in garbage bin. All the time they are wrong. Yes, if it is said by a guru, then yes, you can take it seriously. Especially a guru on the path of knowledge says something. it means something but if you can't find the source and who said what then it belongs in the garbage yes general whatever comes from the general public is completely garbage like i can guarantee you that it will be completely false if it is coming from uh, your society somewhere it can be guaranteed that it is false like you can make your own criteria for truth here 
that coming from society false not coming from society true <laughs> that is our informal criteria like if somebody asks me you know i don't want to follow any path any tradition no nothing i don't understand all these words and still i want to grow spiritually what should i do then i tell them a simple trick don't do that which ordinary person is doing don't do that which your society is doing and you'll progress that's the lazy man's way of spiritual progress do not do that which a worldly person is doing you will progress automatically satya is saying about non veg eating a guru from the path of knowledge said how does food matter in the witness world and there were enlightened people like prophet muhammad jesus and many other sufis you comment on this over the role of food there is a podcast episode on food if you search on my podcast page you will find that there is an episode on food and the general recommendation here on the path of knowledge is do not eat anything which lowers your intellect which harms your nervous system and the body that is general recommendation we don't say veg or non veg we say it like this that anything which causes troubles on your path you should not eat it you should not drink it that drinks involve the, you know the alcoholic drinks and smoking and drugs also and uh, if there are some medicines that are causing lowering of intelligence drowsiness and all avoid that also you know ask your doctor to uh, sub- for a substitute or find some other method of healing but uh, we do not compromise with the body nervous system and intelligence because they are needed for success on the path of knowledge what happens you know because the path of knowledge is not going to last forever so what what should we eat after we get the knowledge and i need not tell you then <laughs> then i need not tell you you have the knowledge so don't look at the enlightened people look at your own body you see all bodies are different check that which your body accepts oh he was the enlightened master and he ate all these things you see he ate rocks don't eat rocks not going to work very good you are a vegetarian very good you see so as you grow spiritually your sensitivity is going to increase and the sensitivity will be increasing towards food also like you become sensitive towards what you consume mentally like you will get uh, tired of tv and movies and all these things you see and uh, you will get tired of all these people who are just emitting negativity all day you become sensitive and then you become sensitive to what is going in the body also yes there is link from the amit thank you very much there is a lot of uh, detail in this episode everybody who wants to know about food should listen to this but i am not very strict about food so it depends on your sensitivity if you are sensitivity if you are sensitive to this or that don't eat it simply don't you don't need to find out what is the reason your body told it already so there are general recommendations but it is given in this episode so i am not going to repeat it but the be saying i cannot have milk now yes nobody should drink milk and the problem is you don't know whether you are lactose intolerant or not like there are many people who don't know probably 80% of people they cannot digest milk like you can google it there are only a fraction of people who can digest milk the rest simply drink it <laughs> and they get nothing so what is my choice is my choice is curd and butter because already digested you see already digested by friendly bacteria and whatever so try to find out if you can digest the milk consult a doctor or whatever but is it is best to simply give it up shift to curd the best source of protein and whatever is curd you can you call it yogurt yogurt in some places so what i do i take curd i mix them with fruits cut the fruits put the pieces of fruits little bit of sugar and it's best best thing you don't need tea you don't need coffee get up in the morning eat this you will be very healthy your body will become beautiful so shri sen cows are given hormonal treatment which is bad. yes you don't know what these cows are eating nowadays you see so Uh, i saw a great improvement in my health as soon as i gave up milk as soon as tea coffee and milk and alcohol was dropped 
You see, I saw a very good improvement. And if the body is healthy, your nervous system will be healthy and your intelligence will grow. That is what we want. After after you get the knowledge, you see, don't throw the intellect. <laughs> you can still use it. Don't, you know, because it will degrade naturally. Your intellect will degrade as you age. But the knowledge remains. Knowledge never goes away. There is no knowledge as you know. There is simply uncovering or purification or, you know, cleaning of, of ignorance. That is all that is. So, do we need intellect? No. Being is more important. And the food will become just a matter of health issues. Alpha is asking, even if one is having cow and feeds it properly, still the milk is not recommended. As you see, it does not depend on the cow and what she eats. It depends on uh, your tolerance. Are you sensitive? Can you digest it? How is your body reacting to it? If yes, then you know, drink it. Who is stopping you? But uh, if you are sensitive to it, you experiment with it. You know? Give it up for six months and see what happens to your health and intellect. And uh, if the results are positive, just say bye-bye. I could not drink it because it is acidic in nature. Rishti is saying if you put haldi in milk, then it becomes digestible. No, it's superstition. So that is why I am saying, if you like it, then it should uh, take it in the form of curd, yogurt, lassi. Or the or with fruits, it was a nice satsang, and I hope everybody enjoyed it. Everybody got their answers, and hopefully you are enjoying the program also. And I'll meet you next time. Thank you very much for att attending the meeting.